the room's not get, may not be ideal, um, but Tyler get, Walters. Get those speakers off that the side walls, man. You're just reflecting. Mm, I mean, you're yeah. just bouncing right off least, of them. Plus, with two subs that close bit. together, you're not getting multi sub effect. Yeah, I mean, they're 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 SBS ultras. Yeah, it looks like they're SBS yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. those things, dude. Breathe. Don't you don't want to get roaches in a home theater? Get the Wheaties box out of there. That's a bad look right there. Like, where's the milk? <laughs> no, that's the behind the couch. Uh, oh yeah, he's got obviously this drop down screen on the top, so he must have a projector in there. Yeah, I know he's got it. The, hide those wires. Yeah, get some. Well, I see he's got some stuff here in the corners. He's got the little tracks. Looks like some wire. So he's doing that right there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, except that for this man. guy there, upper Hide the wires. little quartz of the projector. Clearly, this is like a spare bedroom. He's got a window behind uh-huh. it. You know the the sports post. He sports fan. I don't like the Can whole sports motif here. A different part of the room. And maybe tell the speakers it's in a little it's bit. It's a man cave. It's yeah, totally. Told, told us in. Give it a break. Well, he's going. He's going to home theater. If you call it home theater, this is roast my theater. This is <laughs> if he if he says man my man cave. Okay, that's how we're going to judge it. But this is send me your home theater. Yeah. So we got to judge it as a home theater. That is his home theater. Yeah. Just, yeah, it's his home theater. But it's not his home when theater. you put like speakers weed. close to a wall like that, it dramatically affects the sound quality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dramatically. Yeah. Well, yeah. Tell him, man. At least, come on. Get, what about like, the uh, the high speakers? Like really on your, you know, those high speakers seem awfully close crazy together. Crazy reverb off the wall there, and I think those are the ultras, which those things need to breathe. So there's no yep. way you're even getting close to maximizing the potential like of a those. fine wine. And when you drop that screen down, is that an acoustic screen or not? Because that's those elevations are going to bounce right off the back of that. Dude, is that an AT screen okay. or not? You can't spread the subs because of the projector screen. <clears throat> Um, so it's not acoustically transparent because the towers would be shining into the back of the screen. Can can the screen even come down all the way? Get it. Get it. Like, motorized those light speakers aren't really doing AT any good screen. if that's not an AT screen. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's a bad look there, Tyler. There's no way that'll broadcast uh, a 16:9 image. He might just be running a Cinescope. Maybe. Two, three, well, no, said, Maybe it's got so, a really large drop on it. Says it blocks the Atmos, so it's not acoustically transparent. Next screen, we can see he's got a Sony. Was that 325? Yes. With 295 or 395. Is what it looks like. Yeah. I mean, for yeah, the generation, well. it's not a not a. Is bad that a TV in that? that? Did your grandpa no. give you that when he passed? No, that's not a TV. That's a projector. <laughs> two speakers. Oh. No, turntable. he's not a projector. Turntable. He's saying it is one of those consoles, though. It's 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 a four by three aspect like tube TV. Yeah. Console. Yeah. Is what it looks like. What you're yeah, yeah. Look at the Nintendo box, the old Nintendo he's got, the Super Nintendo. 64. Yeah, that's cool. Mario cool. Monopoly. I dig that. He's got a lot of man cave little, stuff. The there. I, your bachelor. I think yeah. this was Miss Submitted. This is a man cave. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, put it in the title next time. Man cave, not home theater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got a, the Smithsonian of video game consoles back there. Okay, appreciate like that, it. but not for home theater. Put that in the kitchen or something. Not in the home theater. <laughs> Put it in the kitchen <laughs> with your Reedy's boxes. If, if those two speakers there are the rear surround, or the sales are a little close together. I'm are they rear surround there? The turntable. Oh, <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't even see that. I didn't see those. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, they yeah, match the uh, distance between his front atmos. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, you really need some separation. Dude, are those speakers there. firing straight into the back of the couch? Hold on, maybe that's his, that's his turntable speakers. Right. The turntable you could be right, saying. but then what's his okay. surround speakers? What's the rest of the surround? He's got a switch. Let's see, they do both. He's got wire loom everywhere. So. Oh, here we go. All right, so he's got some side uh, surrounds there. Yeah, I'm assuming just there's came out. the opposite side. How are you going to have a poster dedicated to a movie that just came out? People haven't decided if it's good or not. Maybe that's a, like yeah. a display or something. Oh, TV. Is that, is that a tray TV? on the right? Yeah. Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> what is it? Uh, what is that? It, looks it, might like be an from like a, it looks like a wheel from a lawnmower at the top. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> it's I bet he lives next door to me. Yeah, that's what it is. You, you're a bachelor. What do girls think when they see that shit? <laughs> <laughs> He's single. You're single, aren't you, Tyler? He's got some uh, Funko Pops. He's got some toys over here. All right. Single moms are like, that. my kid's going to love you. 
Yeah, 40 year old virgin. Can't take those out of the box. They're worth money. <laughs> All right. The equipment right oh, there. The Iron Man helmet. Yeah. Is that one of those what automatic opening that? ones there, Tyler? Oh, yeah. I got the MR4300, maybe yeah, a 5400. Cool. Mm -hmm. Aircom, Marantz, Monolith. Uh, Is that a cable yeah. box on top? You still rocking cable? No, that's a Zidu Media Player. Yeah. What? Is it? Is it? It's a Z9X or X9, something or another. Oh, okay. I'm just going to guess Marantz. this guy has a picture of himself wearing only that helmet and that helmet only. <laughs> Like, I'm just guessing. Hey, keep your fantasies to yourself. <laughs> yeah, I this don't is Tinder that. profile. <laughs> he says it opens and it's wearable. So, again, I'm going to bet money on that. Mm, uh -oh. I dig ah, so do you oh, own your oh, Aaron, you, Aaron, he's you offering you a picture. I see that. <laughs> I'll tell you real fast. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Send your... <laughs> you gotta love the internet. There you go, man. Send your pics with you only wearing one item of clothing to Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use that as my Tinder profile. <laughs> Helmet preferred, apparently. Helmet preferred. You better take that Tinder down. I met your girlfriend. She got, uh, yeah, I'm just kidding. I don't even have a Tinder profile. Mm. I'd be scared to look on, get on there, man. Mm. Aircom air controller thing. You know it's called? That's just mm. pulling the yeah. air off his Marantz. Mm. <clears throat> but it's blocked by the Panamax. I don't know how good that's doing. Well, yeah, come on, Tyler. Why would you go with the monolith amp? Why don't you go with the Marantz amp? He's got a plate between it. For it looks like an ATI. Oh, it's monolith. You're right. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's still ATI, I guess. It's not a bad amp. Yeah, I think it's better than the Marantz app, actually. Oh, yeah, you think so? I'm sure it sounds better than the Marantz amp. I'm not a big fan of the Marantz. Marantz sound. But, guys... Thank you for watching tonight. If you guys want to join any of our Patreons, we got Patreons. Gene's got one as well, but I'm only going to pimp mine. It's uh, patreon.com slash Shane Lee. You can join him for as little as a dollar a month. That's $12 a year. Um, you guys can afford that, of course. $5 a month or $10 a month. If you really love the channel and the content that I put out, you can join for $10 a month. You can chat me up, DM me directly. I usually get back to you pretty quickly. There's always some great deals on my Patreon as well. So join my Patreon if you want to, you know, value my opinion and stuff like that. You can join the content that I put out. Also having these uh, these clowns on here as well. If you like their content, check out their channels. Thank you guys for joining us tonight.